What does this seesaw and this squirt gun have in common with your life? Let's take a look. As a kid, this seesaw may have been one of your favorite toys that you used on the playground at recess. There's something about the ride-like characteristics of it that make it fun. The highs, the lows, the ups, the downs. But if we were to think of the seesaw as a uh, parable to our life, as adults, we don't like the highs and the lows. We don't like the ups and the downs. If anything, we're really just trying to keep this as balanced as possible. And what makes that so difficult is that we have so many confl conflicting priorities on each end of the spectrum that it gets hard to balance. What we need to do is to find a dichotomy between those conflicting priorities. So let's take a look. There are so many dichotomies in our life. For example, we may focus so much on home life that our work suffers. We may also focus so much on work that our home life suffers. We're really looking for balance across all facets of our life, whether it be being social versus staying in, finding personal development or time to relax. Whatever we're prioritizing in our life, it's important that we find balance. We've now had a visual look at the different dichotomies that we may face in our everyday life. The next step is to find balance between those dichotomies. And if we're thinking about our seesaw here, as a kid or even as an adult, if we were to sit on this piece of equipment, it's relatively easy to find that balance. We just look for that equilibrium point and then balance weight on each end. In life, it's a little bit more challenging than that because we don't have uh, an equipment that we're putting our, our life priorities on that we can judge balance. It's a lot of trial and error and seeing what works best for you. In addition to finding dichotomies in areas of our life, we also face challenges from something that I call life capital. So let's take a further look into what life capital actually is. Life capital is basically our own personal gas tank. There's only so much that can go into it. And once it's empty, it's empty. Let's take a little bit further look with the super soaker. In this example, the army men represent the tasks or priorities that we are going to complete in our life. The water from the super soaker represents the capital or our fuel tank in completing those tasks. Remember, our capital is limited. When we only have a few tasks to complete, we're able to quickly extinguish them using little capital. As you can see, when more tasks are added, we're still able to accomplish those tasks, but it does require more capital. As more tasks are added, we're still able to complete those tasks, but as you can see, more capital is needed to complete those tasks. There comes a point when there are so many tasks added to our plate that it becomes unreasonable to expect that we will be able to complete all of those tasks with the capital that we have. When that happens, rather than focusing limited capital on completing every single task in front of us, we should prioritize which tasks require our immediate attention or that are most important, and then dedicating time to completing those tasks. As you can see from this example, focusing a limited capital on every task doesn't allow us to complete all of our tasks. And while prioritizing tasks may not guarantee us to complete every task, it does allow us to focus on those much needed items that need to be completed. So that is the dichotomy of our life. That is using our life capital to prioritize what's most important to us. And I'll say that it's not easy, and it's not something that I've mastered by any stretch of the imagination. But I will say that the more I pay attention to those things, the easier that it has become. So as you pay attention to the dichotomies in your life, use life capital in areas that are most important to you, and 
give yourself some grace. You'll figure it out. That's it for this week's episode of Take 10. We'll see you next time.